I took my mentor Dr. Chia Tian Song's words, "Art is life, and life is art," to heart. Therefore, it is safe to say that my art career matures along with me, as I explore the world and my own identity as an Asian woman living in the West. My name is C J Lu, or Lu Sijie, in Mandarin. I am an artist. I paint and draw with Chinese ink, watercolor, and acrylic. I play the drums across the genres of Chinese, African, Middle East, and world music. My first challenge as an artist came as simple as fighting for the right to be one. Growing up in a predominantly Chinese society in Malaysia. Being a creative is understood as merely a hobby. It was my yearning to see the world that got me to further my studies in Norway and USA. Those opportunities equipped me with the intellectual capacity to inspect and think critically about my own culture and passion, alongside the discourses of globalization, development, poverty, politics, religions, rituals, and folklores of the world. And I continue to do so upon graduating from my alma mater, Dartmouth College. After graduation, I was lucky to be supported by my art professors and mentors through fellowships and residencies to continue my path in the arts. But then it reaches a point where I have to start designing my own curriculum. It was then I discovered the book *The Alchemist* by Paulo Coelho and the concept of art pilgrimages. Every year, I would pick a region in China to explore for a month or two. I would collect images, stories, and anecdotes that I would later incorporate in my studio work or art residencies. I am an artist who recognizes and responds to great energy and spirit. I was drawn most to the art and rhythms rooted in the everyday. I can create any time and anywhere in the presence of a magical moment. It could be a rhythm I heard and start moving my body to, an impromptu dance happening on the street, a breathtaking view, an exquisite ritual piece sitting elegantly in a museum pedestal. I seize those magical moments by transcribing them with my brush, moving along with them through dance. Better yet, join in the fun if they permit. Then I would carry these memories and immerse myself in the studio to develop and refine what would become my new body of work. We can keep refining the language in how we present ourselves, but I think about the Buddhism context of impermanence when it comes to defining my art. However hard we try to define ourselves, we wake up to a different state of mind every morning. My art is constantly evolving through time. Every artwork reflects who I am and the sum of my experiences at that given time. In 2014, I named my exhibition "Rhythmic Impression." It was a sensory explosion through music and dance communicated with vibrant pastel and acrylic colors. In 2015 and 16, I started my Chinese ink on Shuan paper series called "Ink Novations." It is when I dove deep into my Chinese roots when I received a traveling fellowship from Dartmouth College to learn from master ink painter Dr. Chia Tianzong. I was touched by the Eastern philosophy of art making in a profound way. I started writing calligraphy, practicing Tai Chi, and auditing Chinese art history classes upon returning to the States. My latest exhibition, entitled "Physical Meditation." Was held in January 2018 in a UNESCO heritage town called Penang in Malaysia. It was my interpretation of spirituality and its relationship with rhythms, rituals, and sacred landscapes. I used all the medium I'm slowly mastering, from quick sketches, ink and acrylic paintings to collage, to show my journey before, during, and after the trip to the Tibetan Plateau. In the future, I would like to stage a play to tell stories of my ancestors and contemporary people dealing with age-old themes such as love. Choreograph a dance in front of a backdrop I painted. Refine my poems or create a multimedia installation that is a cubism of my creative expressions. The possibilities are endless.
It's a lifelong commitment to live a life where art is always available for and to me, so that I could sharpen my skills in depicting beauty whenever and however I want, to nourish my body, mind, and soul, and to help me understand and interpret nature and my mortality despite all its fragility. Perhaps being an artist is the only way for me to express my truth and freedom.